but you know, if you if you look at what the problems Leicester caused Liverpool, which was quite a number of times during the game, Liverpool are not quite getting their midfield right. It's a real. I don't look. Liverpool's midfield now was so good at winning the ball back, getting there very quickly, confronting players, stopping them doing what you know they they want to do. Don't let players lift their head up and find a pass. They've got, they're away from that. They're not good at that at the moment. I would say the relentless work work rate of Nunes has been brilliant again. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, not clinical enough, and he's going to have to become a better finisher. But his work rate was brilliant again last night. He calls Leicester. Leicester didn't like it because yeah. he, I mean, you know, Marty gave him about four or five yards at one stage mm. and got him, got past him mm. with his blistering pace. Well, let's hear from Jurgen Klopp, who's spoken about Nunes, and he acknowledges, yes, okay, he's had chances in front of goal, but he's not panicking. Those goals will come soon. I think he played an outstanding game again. So, and look, we win, and he also has a, played a massive part in that. Um, and that's all what we ask for, and all the rest will come. What you really can expect that, that the players working incredibly hard. That's what he's doing. The finish for the second goal, which was unlucky, they went to the post. Um, you can see the boy improves quickly. So it's a similar situation than he had before. It's not trying to press it through the goalie you now chips it and it was a perfect finish unlucky that he goes to the post so yeah he's in a really good way so positivity there from Jürgen Klopp on, on Nunes um, because he has yes he hasn't had the goals that I'm sure he would love to have had already mm. but he does make an impact without a doubt like you've already alluded to there his pace frightens so many teams and you just feel it's a matter of time isn't it before yeah, I, it all clicks for him he's doing everything right you know okay you can well. He's not doing everything right. He's not scoring, <laughs> but I mean, he's doing everything right but to get in the position to but. score. Yeah. Don't stop doing that. And and I I really feel like he'll he'll go on a run. He mm. will do, because he's got such devastating pace that, you know, Liverpool fans are actually you know really enjoying his performances, mm. and they'll they'll take to him because they just love the way his attitude, desire to get across the pitch and make other people's jobs easier. He does that really well. Um, look, Nat, Liverpool didn't play well. They had their chance in the game, but they didn't play well again. And, and I think Klopp would be a little bit concerned about the amount of chances Liverpool mm. giving away as well. Just on, on Nunes, he's had 52 attempts on goal in the Premier League this season. Wow. But has scored just five goals. Uh, he's missed more big chances in the League 14 than any other player. But, like you say, it's just a matter of time before it all gels and hopefully, for, uh, from a Nunes and Liverpool perspective, it'll all work out for him. Can I just have a quick word? Do you know what he reminds me of a little bit? Go on. Timo Werner, where he couldn't buy a goal. Yes. His pace was brilliant. He never stopped working, mm. working his socks off. It's a little bit of that scenario where we're all thinking, but, oh, look, and it didn't finish well. It didn't work no, out well it, for Werner, it didn't, so what are you that. saying? <laughs> but it, it feels a little bit like Timo Werner-ish, but there is a bit more about Nunes, um, I think. Okay. I do think he'll come good. I, well, I never quite, I was never convinced about Timo Werner. Mm. Game Day Breakfast with Natalie Sawyer and Tony Cascarino. Saturday mornings from 6 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.